Oh, hey. Uh, just just been enjoying these modded HE400 SEs. They are really, really good. Really getting somewhere now. Uh, so impressed with the sound that you can get out of these. So, uh, this is another quick update. I think we're just about there. We're on our beta now. I think this is just about a final product. Really, uh, really getting to grips with it. So, uh, I don't know if you've seen the other parts of this, but essentially we're taking a pair of cheap-ish HE400 SEs, using the driver out of them with some 3D printed parts, uh, trying to keep the costs right down and get something, you know, properly audio file quality out of them. As you can see, we've got this chunky bad boy cable. That is something else. That is an experimental thing that one of our technicians has made. It's a bit too heavy though. You know, it's not it's not quite there, but it looks impressive and it sounds great. And uh, as we can't really sell it because it's too heavy, I get to play with it. So it's, uh, it's it's all good. It's all good. But we will probably work on a cable. But you can use obviously you can use the original cables with it. So yes, as you remember from the last one, we redesigned it so it could use the original sockets and you could fit them without soldering, which was a success. I've had to redesign nearly all the parts because I was trying to get these to print nicely with minimal supports and any supports that are there come out nicely which is harder than you'd think you'd think trying to make something easy would be easy no, that's the hardest part um, so it's now printed in three parts which means that most of it will print without support which not only makes it quicker and cheaper to print it also means that you get uh, a nicer print because you haven't got any of those support materials to come up but yeah it's, it's all been designed so it prints super smoothly on a 3D printer which is uh, there's a bit of an art to it and it's taken a while uh, I've also done some work on the headband because as I mentioned before the headband that comes with it is relatively sexy it was just kind of let down a little bit by the design of it so I've redesigned these end caps which are the main part that I felt was letting it down and I've made you know made it so it's got a, a similar look to the ear cups but I think as you can see with the aluminium part and all black it's pretty sexy especially if you kind of accent it with some nice silver screws something like that I was thinking maybe I might put some just doesn't need screws in it but I might put some screws in there just for looks I think it'll carry the look across which would be quite nice uh, another thing you may have noticed is that there is a notch out of the padding in the headband because I noticed it's pressing on the center of your head and I kind of learned a trick from the from Sennheiser which they did on the HD 650 which was to basically cut a notch out there that goes over your head and it really improves the, the, the comfort of it so I might make that notch a little bit a little bit bigger because it's also off centre so we'll take it over um, but yeah so it turns out you can mod the original headband so that it's more comfortable and looks a bit nicer which has got the cost down because that's say 40 quid or whatever on a nicer headband you can still fit nicer headbands to these but I think you know if we're looking to keep costs down going with the original headband is a good idea sound wise we're getting there now. I've been doing a little bit of subtle tuning. I've been doing some testing with the other guys here. We're at a point where we're just blown away, pretty much. Uh, you know, we get to listen to quite a lot of expensive headphones, and it's up there. You know, they're they're, they're getting there. Um, very happy with the sound and the kind of sound staging is getting very. It's getting a little bit better as well. Uh, so inside now, I don't know if you can see this, but there are these little lumps dotted around. Uh, we were finding we had some some peaks and troughs. Uh, as someone in the comments mentioned you might get this with a where we're acting like a little horn in here which I'd originally done to smooth out the airflow when I was doing in CAD because I want to get fast fast bass and stuff uh, so I wanted to make it breathe as easily as possible but uh, then it, it basically accentuated certain frequencies which gave us a little peak in certain areas so we have broken that up uh, by adding these little dots and also it seems to make it sound make, make the sound stage a bit better we only put it at the front and at the top initially and what seems to be happening is some of the sound is rolling up here bouncing off these dots and it's kind of dispersing it so it sounds like it's coming from different place you know spread around the rooms where you get echoes and reflections and that kind of stuff so it does seem to do something uh, as far as making it sound a bit wider so we're experimenting with adding a few more around here just to see what that does yeah we've got some other stuff printing at the moment but you know i'd be happy with these as they are but you know we just did a few, few final tweaks just because you know i'm learning as i go along not really played around with with similar headphones before and it, it's very difficult because you're designing it there's a bit of that placebo factor where it's like I've put in all this work. It's you, you're going to assume it kind of sounds better. So I have been trying to do some blind tests with uh, with other people that work here, just a being stuff, 
but yeah, we're definitely getting getting very close. There's a there's a, there's a few little bits, a few little tweaks still to tweak, but uh, I'm basically basically there. So this I think is pretty much the final look for them. A uh, few tweaks to the internals. Uh, I've tried to make it as easy as possible to build because obviously it's all well and good designing something that we can build here where we've got trained technicians, but you know, I'm trying to make sure that anyone could build this. Yeah, so I think the project is going well. By the time we finish this, I think one more video <laughs> and uh, then I can release the final files. But yeah, you should be able to get 130 pound headphones, some nicer pads, some 3D printed parts and make yourself something that sounds sort of 500 to 1000 pounds. Uh, so yeah, really happy, really happy with them. Uh, if you've got any questions or you've got any feedback on how it's going or, or anything like that, I'd love to hear from you because we put in a lot of work and I, I love going in the comments and I'm a bit of a type away. And obviously like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed, why not? You know, it's just it's the cool things happening. You get to see them. And we might be doing a little giveaway over the next month. We've got some cool headphones which we don't really sell, but just cool little things that we've made and we might give some of those away to subscribers. So uh, so get subscribed and watch out. We might be doing some giveaway soon. I'll stick a link to our shop in the, the description up above because, uh, you know, when we sell cables and accessories, it, it all uh, it all helps pay for, for projects like this. So, uh, so yeah, so if you need any fancy headphone cables, uh, check, us, check us out. We've got some cool stuff. And, uh, yeah, anyway, it's been great hanging out, and uh, I'll, I'll crack on with this. I'm feeling super... After having a good listen to these, I'm super motivated to finish them off because these are pretty, pretty special. Um, I might say, I might see if we can get another few pairs of Baller headphones in, maybe some HD 800s and some of the other sort of high-end-ish ones, and uh, we'll do a little comparison tweak. And uh, yeah, anyway, love to hear any suggestions you've got. Let me know what you think. I'm going. Right? Yeah. Anyway, word to your name. What? what?